y'all i'm back for another video welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome i'm tiara danielle and as you can tell by the title we're gonna be doing a quick little makeup look quick little tutorial fenty beauty for the most part it's gonna be pretty much fenty beauty because i have so much stuff and i'll probably like insert a video of <laughs> all of the stuff that i have but yeah so let's get started I'm going to clip away my hair because I don't even, ah, my natural hair is finally back in the mix of things. I've had her hidden away under wigs for like months now. I don't even know a correct amount of months, but it's been like a good two to three months of having my hair just away from me and I kind of miss her but not really because I'm going to get my hair blown out in a couple of weeks it's time for a trim time for a little silk press this is a lot to maintain honey I can't do all of that okay so we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty um, powder foundation this is the shade 420, so we're going to be doing a powder look, which means all liquids and creams need to be applied first. I already moisturized my face, washed it, did all of the things, so we're just going to jump right into it. So we're going to start off with the Insta Retouch Primer. I'm not too sure if I should really be using a primer with this because I feel like my face is it's not dry but it's also not oily like I have combo skin but when it comes to this I know that this is matte even though it says soft matte we gonna see today but this is a matte product so I don't really know if I want to be dry dry because dry and then dry is like real dry so you know I don't know but we gonna see we gonna see I'm gonna be doing my brows off camera because this is not Fenty Beauty and I ran out of my Fenty Beauty pencil. I didn't realize it. So I'm gonna do my brows and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, I'm back. So I did my eyebrows and I'm gonna use 390 in their Pro Filter Concealer to clean them up. I usually use 420, but I left that one. I don't know where I left it. I think it's back there with the rest of my makeup. Um, so I have 410, 430, 390, and 420. Don't ask why I have so many, okay? They have tons of concealer options and it's difficult to pick the correct shade because they recommend going by like your foundation color. But I feel like those recommendations aren't the best because I just feel like some of the concealers don't match me, like the ones that they recommended. So I don't know. I did use the Fenty Beauty wax stick. I'm gonna actually put some more on this eyebrow because it's just so curly and just crazy looking. Just wanna get these hairs straight as possible since I'm not using my um, Anastasia gel. I have to use what I can get. Fenty Beauty release of eyebrow gel, please. Do they have one? I don't think they have one. But look how thin and lifeless this side is. Look at that. Look at that. I know y'all probably like, girl, what happened? I wasn't feeling the lighting situation and I feel like this looks better to me. I don't know if it looks better to anybody else, but I feel like this just looks better. <laughs> like so I turned off the um, light boxes and I'm just gonna use my ring light and the light in my room the way these are positioned today is just not doing anything around me so yeah but let's get back into the tutorial or whatever so with powder foundation you always want to do your creams and whatever liquid product you have first so I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and contour and color correct and all of the things with these products so I'm actually going to use, I think I want to use three, 430. One of these is a little bit redder than the rest. I'm going to use that to color correct. 
I think it is 430 actually. 430 is the only one that I have that is not crusty <laughs> and crunchy. <laughs> Cause I don't use it a lot. The rest though, I need to give it up. Give it up and get something new, girl. Oh my god. I'm gonna color correct a couple of dark marks that I have here. And this pimple, even though I should probably put something lighter on the pimple. I mean, something more my skin color on the pimple instead. It's so bad that like, whenever I don't do my skincare routine, like you can tell, like you can, you can tell when I've stopped being consistent. It's so bad. So I'm gonna take 420 and 430. 390. <laughs> 390 and 410. I'm gonna do my under eye. So with 410, because this one is the, I believe this one is the cooler shade. Let me double check. Yeah, that one is the lighter. Can I see that? This one is 410. And this one is 390. This one is 430. If y'all can see the difference. And now, let me get 420 so I can also do that too. So this one is 420. If y'all can see the, the um, underto undertone differences. This is technically my conceal shade and this would be my brighten shade. And then, cause this is 410. So 410 would be the brightening shade. This one being 390 and this one being 430. This one, 390, for some reason in the hydrating, I mean not the hydrating, in the soft matte foundation from them, my foundation color is 390. 420 and that brand, too red. But for some reason the hydrating Fenty Beauty foundation, I'm 420 and it matches perfectly. So. I was a little shaky on the foundation color. So hopefully this works because the only place that I have tested that foundation color is on my wig. So yeah, but I'm gonna actually go in with 410 because this is for the lightning and then 420 I'm gonna do in the same spots that I did the red undertone one. So let's just do the eight. If I even have enough in here, child. Like what? <laughs> I don't know if I have enough in this in this damn bottle to do this. I might though. This is four twenty. Ten on the chin. Anything where I want to be bright, I want anywhere where I want it to be bright. I'm gonna put four ten. Anywhere that I don't care about, like the neutral shade of it, it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna use four twenty. concealer I think it looks really good on the concealer so let's jump into let's set and then we can do the contour now technically I don't really have to set anything because I am putting on a powder foundation but I like my under eye and this part of my face to be really as bright as I can possibly get it because I have a um like a raccoon ish like type y'all know being a black girl is hard there's like different tones in your face we tend to be darker down here for some reason but yeah I don't like that so <laughs> yeah um I'm just gonna take honey and just pat it in to my creases I really want to 
want to give this another try. I really do because a lot of people contour this and I just feel like I can do it. <laughs> I can do it too, okay? I can do this. So, should I use my finger? I don't know. I don't know what to use. I'm, not, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. Just gonna. Woo. This is so dark. Well, so rich, I should say. I'm very scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I went ahead and applied. Um. The cream. Ooh. Wait. I applied it to my cheeks and my forehead, but I'm I'm gagged a bit. Wait, hold up. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Wait. This looks really good hold on because oh, I should have used my other brush I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up my nose with my other brush but just so this one doesn't just so this doesn't dry down OD but this looks really good Rihanna so we're gonna be using shade 420 if I can get it open this came with a little pad thing, but I'm not gonna use that because why would I? I'm gonna use their, what number is this? 110 foundation brush. I believe this is the brush for the hydrating. So we'll see. Damn, I feel like I should've used my kakuki, kuk, kakuki. <laughs> Kabuki brush. I should have definitely used my Kabuki brush for this instead. This looks really good. Hmm. Okay. Oh, y'all, I done messed up. I messed up. I forgot the cream blush. And I don't have, do I have a powder brush on the blush on them? Damn it, that makes me really sad. That means I'm gonna have to, I'm going to have to put this on, over it, and then I'm gonna have to go over it again. Mm. I don't know how I forgot. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Just know that for the future, use your cream products before your powder products. So this is the Summertime Wine Cream Blush. And I actually really like this blush. I only have one cream blush and I have a couple of liquid blushes. My Ser Serena, Selena blush is my favorite blush currently. And this is right behind it. So this is really, really pretty. So I'm going to use this. Did it backwards. I can't believe I did this backwards. I can't believe I did it backwards. I'm not proud of myself. I like my blush to go upwards. Oh, this is really paying off on camera. Oh my god. In person, it's really subtle. I'm not even really gonna go in much with the foundation. I'm just gonna use whatever I have on my brush to go back over it. I feel like this is the perfect no makeup makeup look. Like, Rihanna wasn't lying when she said that. Because I definitely was like, girl, like, I can tell you have makeup on. But... <laughs> That was probably because of the lights and all the production stuff. But like in person doing this myself, this is really like a natural. It just looks like I'm bronzed and rosy, I guess. Like perfect, the perfect amount. So 
I'm gonna do my typical eye that I do. Nothing spectacular. It's literally the espresso stick concealer and a highlight. Inner eye, inner eye highlight. Nothing too special or crazy. So let's take 420. I'm gonna put on my lid. Now I don't care to get makeup on these lashes because they're coming off anyways of my lash extensions. But if you do have lash extensions, obviously don't put makeup on them. Okay. And then I just take espresso stick with this little brush. Tap it a few times and then put it directly into my crease. I'm gonna try to do fox eye with this. I don't know how far we're gonna get with it, but I can try. Cause this is like the color of my skin. Mmm, nah. Maybe we could try with espresso. Now that is all from there. Now We're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. I don't really, I'm not a crazy eyeliner person, so literally I do my inner um, an eye and that's it. I don't do like the wing liner because I struggle with wing liner and I have for years, no matter how many times I practice. It's cool, everything is not for me. But when they release a pot version of their eyeliner, I might be able to do that, cause that I do know how to apply and shape. These though, can't do it. This, I think I did it one time with this, and I never did it again. And it was so perfect too. I never did it again after that. Now, I don't like their mascara, just being honest. Um, the brush does nothing for me, and it was like super clumpy. So, there's two things I can do. Because I don't care about these lashes, I can put mascara on them, or I can apply a lash strip over them to make them fuller, or I could just brush them out. I'm gonna actually try to brush them out first before I do anything else, just to see what it gives. They not so bad, but like, you know, like, they can use a little something. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on these. I usually go into my inner crease with diamond, diamond ball out. From the Clara Lionel collection. I put this in my inner crease. Rum. So rum, I just take down the middle of my nose and just pop it like that. And just a little bit here and here. I don't really go crazy with highlight anymore, if I'm being honest. I never really was into like the crazy thing with the highlight. That's like as far as I go. <laughs> I don't do anything else. Now I'm gonna go back in with espresso and use it to line my lips because Fenty Beauty does not have lip liner yet. Don't know what that's about. But yeah. Now 
Now I'm gonna use Taffy Tees. I don't really remember which collection this is from. This is from a limited collection release as well. It's cute. Maybe I should use the, I'm gonna use the, um, cream one that I have in Fenty, Fenty Glow, just to see what this gives as well. The issue is, well, it's not an issue because I love my top lip, but it's so much darker than the bottom that everything appears as clear gloss. And it's not. Obviously, it's a powder foundation, so it's not going to be full coverage that's pretty good that's an obvious but it's super pretty like this is a really 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 pretty finish and it's really smooth like my face doesn't feel dry like I thought it was gonna be but it feels really nice I'm I'm gonna use the photo box I think it's photo finish setting spray from Smashbox I don't like the spray from Fenty Beauty I don't like it at all so this is the complete finished look with Fenty Beauty I love it I will probably be making this like a regular routine honestly if I wasn't talking while I was doing this it would have went so much faster because it was just a basic look um I will say that next time I think I'm gonna use a powder blush and a powder I wish they had a powder contour I just feel like really the only thing that I want to use under it is my concealer. That's about it. Like I don't I don't want to use anything else. I feel like it kind of dragged out the process a little bit. But other than that, I absolutely love it. And I will be making this a usual routine for me. So I'm going to try to perfect it is what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to keep practicing every day with the powder foundation just to figure out like the right way of... The right combinations i should say with the right shades and all the things but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please let me know down below what else you would like to see from me and if you would like for me to try out different looks with the fenty beauty products and subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all in the next video bye